mural is a mural, it doesn't matter how big it is. It can, it can be a light switch. As long as it integrates into architecture, it becomes part of the real world of architecture. I'm John Pugh, I'm an artist, I live in Ashland, I live right around the corner from my mural studio. I love creating public art that, that connects with people and uh, it feels like a very powerful role and I wouldn't trade it for anything. The genre of the type of work I do is called trompe l'oeil, which in French means trick of the eye. It actually tricks the eye into believing that something's happening with a wall or projecting out that isn't really there. And I find it's a great vehicle for public art because everyone likes being tricked and it really does tend to invite people into a concept. So I've done about 250 murals. Of course, I've been saying that for the last five years, but somewhere around 250 murals all over the world, mostly in the United States. I've done some in China, I've done some in a few in New Zealand, Canada, Mexico. No muralist should be an island. And working with a team, it's like making music together. It's, it's really important. That, that choir of people is gonna create music together in an intimate way and it's gonna get the job done. When I see a wall and I get a sketch of it, the first thing I do is interact with the wall. What, do I, what can I do to this wall? Well, how can I manipulate this wall to make it an anomaly and make it really interesting. So that's probably first. The research, the finding inspiration is my favorite part of this, this, uh, this lifestyle I have, painting murals. It's always about trying to find out about the history. And I think that explaining the history visually with public art in a fresh way, if, 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 a, if people in the community learn about the history, they, 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 they share this common bond and it creates a pride of place. It bridges gaps, it creates community, just understand the history more. Ashland feels like it's becoming my home in a, in a greater sense than other places I've lived. I feel like this is, will probably be my forever home here. So when I first got to town and I knew I was moving here, I drove around looking for a wall. I went down Main Street and saw this wall on the side of the Elks Lodge. I said, that's the wall. Going down Main Street and being perpendicular to the wall is a perfect illusion corridor where if this was really existing, it would hold its illusion for a while. We're not just passing by it, but we're headed toward it. And uh, it's the perfect setup. I want to create a, a, a mural that I can feel a sense of service with here in town. From a very early age, I felt this enchantment here in Ashland, and I wanted to explore that with this mural concept. And as I started researching this more, enchantment began to mean so many different things. And it was because of the original inhabitants here and how they tended the garden is why this place is so enchanting. Especially in the plaza area, this is a sacred place called Where the Crow Lights, and it was a Shasta village. The Native Americans here were definitely part of this circle of life with the animals and nature. All sorts of things that actually heighten the effectiveness of the world as a source, as our living organism that we're part of. Where the Crow Lights brings into focus the need for us to become part of the nature that makes this place so special. I've always loved Ashland, and now that I call this place my home, I want to create something for the community that I live in.